Hi, my name is Elaine Thomas, also known as Mystical Mischief on some of the cake decorating forums. I'd like to show you some of the techniques I use while cake decorating and also hopefully inspire you to have a go yourself. Okay, so I'm going to, using the flesh coloured modelling paste, which is CMC or Tylos added to sugar paste, and to get the flesh I've used chestnut sugar flares, chestnut colour, I'm just there's a little bit of white fat on my hands to stop it from sticking to me. And I'm going to roll a ball into egg shape for the head. And I want to quickly show you how, using the character stick, I've just done a video on how to use it to make a smile and do the eyes and the nose. And I just wanted to again show you how to do, using the opposite side to do a shocked mouth. So I've got my, my head shape. I'm putting my eyes in. Where the eyes will go, bringing it round for the temples. Okay, and use the ball tooth for the sockets. Okay, so now I know exactly where the mouth is going to go. So I'm using the pointed part of the character stick. I'm turning it so the chin is at the bot is on the left and the forehead is on the right. That's because I'm right-handed. Um, if I was left handed you'd have to do it the opposite way around so I'm going to put my finger on the chin I know exactly where my mouth is going to go straight in the middle of that bare part there and I'll put my finger on the chin pushing the stick in and pulling it out and now I'm going to feather it slightly to make that bottom lip okay so this could be used for singing or um, if you want a character to look shocked for some reason or you know, any sort of comical sort of look. Now the stick again, the pointed part again, I've turned the head around again now so the chin is at this end and now I'm going to pop straight in and pull it up like that. Oh, there you go. And she's got her shocked look. I'm going to put, pop a little bit of dust inside her mouth. Okay, so I'm just going to use a character stick, and this is a ball this time, not a sausage. This is a ball. <coughs> I'm going to pop a bit of glue underneath. The bottom, the top lip, and a bit of glue underneath the bottom lip. Picking the ball up with the flat end of the character stick and popping it in. I turn the character stick over this time because the teeth are going to look <gasps> still shock shape. Okay, you don't want to lose your roundness to that that edge by sticking in the flat part. So again, a ball. I mean, these balls are quite large because the hole that we just made in their mouth to get the lips to come out that far is quite large as well. So I'm picking up the white ball onto the character stick, popping it in, turning the character stick over so it's a round shape to push in the teeth and keep the shape of the lips there you go and with this you could also put in a tongue okay so we also need a slight tongue just to, just to rest on the back of the the teeth the bottom teeth we've just put in now this is just a little tiny bit of red paste into a ball and I always tend to shape them and when I feel like I've got the right shape with my fingers, I drop, I drop it, because I can pick it up then either with um, a paintbrush, this has had that glue on it, so it's got a little bit of glue on it, or something else, or I, if I tend to make the shape and then then decide that's it, that's the shape I need, and then put it on, I just squash it. So this is the, using the glue brush, I'm actually just going to put this straight in, because I've just used a glue brush to pick it up, it's actually 
stuck it at the same time. Using the character stick again, using the pointed part again, just push it on the top of that red ball. Just pushing it on top of that, popping it on top of the white ball. Give it a little push. <laughs> There's your tongue on top of your teeth there, like that. 